welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to tell you about adaptive sports. And if you don't know what that is, you will soon. And a great new program going on at the Fort Monroe Community Center. My guest is volunteer Andy Pye mm -hmm. and Daraki Kroom, who runs um, athletics for the city. Hi. First of all, what is adaptive sports? What does that mean? Well, adaptive sports, it's, it's basically you have all the sports that able-bodied people can uh, participate in. Adaptive sports is we want to modify the sport so anybody can play with, anybody with unique abilities can play a sport. And we tend to first think wheelchair, and that mm. is certainly a, a big part of yes. it, but it isn't just that. No. You have sitting volleyball, you have bocce ball, we have uh, wheelchair dance, as well as... As uh, sitting volleyball, bocce ball, uh, wheelchair dance, uh, wheelchair basketball, and we're looking at adding a lot more to the program. And it, and it might not just be people in wheelchairs. It might be people who don't have an arm or who who have other challenges that keep them from right. doing sports Correct. the way able-bodied people can. Well, it, it's built for able bodies, disabled bodies, friends, and families. Well, community. and you also yes. do it so people can interact. Correct. Correct. So families can participate with each other, um, not just uh, the person that has the disability, but someone that um, they bring along or, again, one of their family members. And this started um, kind of kind of on the, I mean, you just kind of started it. Like, it, there was not a lot of fanfare. Mm -hmm. I remember a year ago, you emailed us to ask us to help promote your first yes. Adaptive Sports Day, where Correct. you had, mm -hmm. you know, a fairly big name person in and, you Correct. know, really working with the community. Mm -hmm. How did it get started? And Andy, I'm going to turn to you on this. Well, uh, the CEO is Linda Gomez. She was down in Florida, and she felt that she needed to bring Adaptive Sports. We were both into the Wounded Warrior program and Wounded Warrior coaches. Uh, and both military or, or former military? Um, I'm former military. She was not, but her oh. dad was military in the okay. Navy. Um, There's a family thing with the military. It, it <laughs> definitely is. I mean, you the feel whole it, family's the in. Whole family's it doesn't absolutely. matter who, the, it doesn't who matter. is serving technically. So she, she designed the Get Set for All. It's 501 3C. Um, and she brought it up to Fort Monroe where we can open adaptive sports. She had dreams that that was the right place for her to have the hub for adaptive sports. So we, with, when you're talking about wounded warriors and military people, we are a hub. I mean, yes, Hampton absolutely. has yes. more veterans per capita than almost any other place in the state. You've absolutely. got all the people from Norfolk and Virginia Beach or who served anywhere. And, and because of the VA, a lot of people choose to retire here. Right. Correct. Um, right. And, and so that's exactly right. It's just the hub. We have all the military surrounding us. Um, we were wounded war coaches. She was with the Army, and I was with Special uh, Operations, and so respectively. And we decided we want to work with wounded warriors. But then, as we started talking with everyone mm -hmm. in the community, we decided wounded warriors is not the only needs that needs to be met. You know, there's a lot of people with unique abilities that needs to come out there and, and find an outlet to find fitness and oh. adaptive sports. And what's so cool is that Hampton has um, Hampton Parks and Rec has for a long time had a program therapeutic recreation for Correct. school age children. And, and a lot of times with special needs, that takes you up to about 21, and Correct. then it's gone. Correct. Then there's nothing yes. for adults, and this right. fills a gap. Correct, so Andy um, and Linda brought their vision to me, um, and we sat down and we talked um, back and forth for about a week, and then we just decided, hey, um, this is something that the city wants to get into Again, because of after that 21 age, there is nothing, and, and we felt a need for it, and it was a brand new program, and, and, and it hasn't been done, or it's not being done on any of the other seven cities. So I was like, hey, that's something new for us, a feather in our cap, and with Andy and um, Linda, um, one of the spearheads of it, I was like, hey, let's go with it. So why Fort Monroe? Freedom <laughs> Fort. Fort. Fort Monroe is known as the Freedom Fort, and it, anytime we can bring people in to knock down the limitations of any uh, problems they might be having, um, Freedom Fort is so beautiful. Why not yeah. Fort Monroe? Yeah, and, and it's very central. If you're drawing people from Virginia Beach and Williamsburg, yes. it, we're right in the middle. Yes. Yes. And interstate. very close to that interstate, easy yeah, to get right. to. So tell me when you offer the program and, and how those two, um, two days of the week are a little different. We, we are so lucky that working with the city of Hampton, uh, Parks and Rec Services, that they allow us to have the facilities at Fort Monroe Community Center. We do Tuesday nights uh, from 5.30 to 8 o'clock wheelchair basketball. And that's with the Sun Wheelers, where we, they already have a, a club there, but we can get in there and bring people in and to uh, get involved with that. Also, Saturdays right now we have uh, from 9.30 to 1.30, where we have 
sitting volleyball in the morning. Then we have bocce ball at the same time. We'll have wheelchair basketball after that. We have seated dance before that. And the great thing about that is they'll, they'll go from one sitting volleyball to wheelchair basketball or, or seated dance to bocce ball. So they're just going back and forth and doing all the sports and adaptive, adaptive sports. And their families can participate in that too. Correct. So it's not, you're off here, you know, always doing your own thing because it's all different and you're Correct. different and all that right. emphasized. It's more integrated. Correct. You have families that come in. That's one of the things they do together, um, do sitting volleyball. And then they have... Uh, the ability to get into a wheelchair, a power wheelchair, and if they want to participate in wheelchair basketball, they can do that as well. Absolutely. We, we have a wife there that she comes there to support her husband, brings her two kids, her dad and her mother there a lot of times, and they're there, and I asked her, I says, why are you here? She says, well, I get to watch my husband, I get to, you know, be involved and play myself and therefore fitness, my kids are involved with it, and it's fun. Yeah, I mean, that's like the perfect combination, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? So how do people get involved? Do we just show up? Do we need to register? What's There's that? There's a, a registration fee, but um, that is very minimal. Um, you can show up um, if you just want to play. Anyone and everyone is welcome. So um, you can come in and register at the front desk at uh, Fort Monroe uh, Community Center and then, you know, go in and play. Do we need to join the community center? And if we do, it's pretty darn cheap. So yes, put in a plug but you for do that. not need to join the community center. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty darn cheap. It's yeah. really cheap, and it's a yeah. fantastic way to yes. go. And you know, also at Fort Monroe is the pool with the um, with the ramp, and yes, so absolutely. that's our most accessible zero entry. Yeah, that's yeah, the fancy word yeah. for it. Yeah, <laughs> um, you know, yeah. it's an accessible pool too, and a lot of yes. people don't have access to yes. that. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you know, along with uh, what uh, Duraki's provides as far as facilities, there's also going to be events and stuff like that. And they yes. can find out information on Hampton's website and also That's on right. Get Set for All's website too, or Facebook page. And then um, in weeks forward or months coming forward, probably after January sometime, we'll have another Adaptive Sports Day where we'll bring everyone back out and hopefully we'll have another um, you know, big name uh, person coming out. Last year mm -hmm. was Nikki. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, she was. Nikki Nieves, she was an Olympic gold medalist. Gold medalist, she mm -hmm. brought a gold medal out and had a lot of pictures with it. And that's mm -hmm. got to be inspiring for people who are probably told of limitations much Correct. more than they're told of possibilities. Correct. Absolutely. Correct. Yeah, it it's said guidance of parents and guidance of situations like this in the community. We say, no, you can go out there and meet that. Mm -hmm. Whatever you, you want to do. Right now we have two young kids that want to be in the Paralympics. And so we're guiding them and teaching them right now. So it's for in, adults in and also in what sport? Uh, wheelchair basketball and sitting volleyball. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then, but we ask them, what do you like and what do you want to be involved with? Mm -hmm. So we go out there and help that and build that and say, okay, now we're going to help you do that. Yeah. Well, and fitness is somewhat limited when you're in a chair, and mm -hmm. you really have to try very hard to get that um, incorporated into your life. And so. Make, I mean, some of us don't like to exercise when we're <laughs> able body, but so making it fun, right. making it part of a team yeah. is, is a motivating thing. Exactly. Team thing. is such a motivation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there, there's, we always think there's limitations to it, but, you know, the imagination, just as long as the imagination can roar, then there's so many things you can do as if you're limited or disabled. Yeah. Um, and about how many people are you serving at this point? Do you know? Imagine uh, it varies well. from week to week. Um, there are a lot of other things that are going on mm -hmm. in other locales. And so right now we're looking at what about? It, it varies in, and that's the best thing about this situation. But cumulatively, it's like in the course of a year, you see. Uh, oh, in the course of a year, we'll, we'll, well over. I mean, like on Saturdays, we'll probably have 25, 30 people in there just yeah. come in there, we'll, we'll chair in all the different sports. The main thing about this is, and what this provides is a stable foundation of a place where they can go because right. not always are they able to go every weekend they might be in the ICU oh. one week and then two weeks yeah. okay I gotta get back out there but mm -hmm. they know Tuesdays and Thursdays and or Tuesdays and Saturdays they know that adaptive sports will be at Fort Monroe and then they can, they can go exactly. whether if they want to participate or just you know if they were in the hospital they can go and see other people right. and connect, still have that, that camaraderie have that as well as that teamwork or mm -hmm. the, you know and just being around some other people 
people. That's such a great thing is that they all speak very similar language. So yes. we're going to be with our same peers mm -hmm. as and, well as and provide just the fitness aspect. Yeah, of as it. well as similar challenges, you know, yeah, being right. adaptive and having to adapt to your situation. And everyone knows that so um, they can, you know, pull with each other. Okay. Is there anything else you guys want to add before we close? How are you funded? Let me just throw that in. If you've got to Thank have you. special yeah. uh, equipment, special wheelchairs, yes. you know, it's, this it's is a labor of love for us. We do everything uh -huh. we do for free, uh -huh. and we go to them uh, for the facility. Yes. Uh, we would love donations, and that's where five hundred one three C gets set yeah. for all. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Right now, everything we do is just we're providing that. We have to go out and look for sponsorships and. Yeah. And we're going to work very tirelessly with, uh, yes. with the city of Hampton, Parks and Rec, and we're going to work on getting that program bigger. Yeah. And but let's give your website so people can know how to make donations or get, get in set touch for with you. GetSetForAll.org is our website, and then Facebook is Get Set for All Incorporated. It has a wheelchair on it um, that you can see it, and uh, please do. Please visit. Yeah. We're here to help anyway. Um, we had two people in Invictus that just ended that said, They'd be dead last year if it wasn't for adapted sports. Wow. And now they're in Victus games in, in Canada playing. So it's just, it's yeah. very easy to get caught into that depression mode. Yeah, yeah. all I can imagine. Yeah. And do you need volunteers? Always looking for, <laughs> always looking for any volunteers that would like to come out. Um, they can come to the Hampton Athletics uh, office, 125 Franklin Street, give us a call. Um, go to the city's website if they want to volunteer and then we can link them with um, Andy and uh, Linda if that's specifically they want, what they want to do or if they have any other um, avenues that they want to try and volunteer in. Okay. Thank you both so much. Thank and you very much. Congratulations thank you. and thank you for thank coming you. to Hampton yeah, and Jiraki for taking on one more <laughs> program exactly. That, exactly. that he's working with. It's good for the city. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I hope if this is something that interests you, whether as a volunteer or a participant or come out and watch and support, um, we would be glad to have you. And please, if you know of anybody who can benefit from this program, spread the word. Thanks for watching.